right, it is time for Backyard Baseball, the playoffs. Hey, Prince Dusk, welcome. Hey, Mello, <laughs> glad you're both here. Yes, it's playoff day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm excited. I did not think we would be here this fast, but wow, time flies, apparently. Uh, I have a couple of quick announcements to make before we start. First of all, I have a Discord server open for people to join if they want. Link is in the Twitch About page. The link was broken for a while, but it should work now. So if you join in there, uh, people can potentially have a say in what happens next season for, like, picking characters and such. So there's a little incentive to join if you want. The other thing I want to announce is that a Tony emote is in the works. I have contacted one of my older brothers who is much more skilled at making art and designing things than I am, and I sent him basically a base template of Tony's portrait and basically said, hey, here's my idea for an emote. Can you can you make work your magic? And he is actually working on that now, so I'm excited for it, and I think you will be too. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. Anyhow. Uh, let's join up. Artie's All-Stars have made it to the playoffs. We are really, really good. And we're facing off against the Monsters. And there's a decent chance that we will only have to play two playoffs. I'm actually not sure how it works. But I think it's first I think it's first to two wins means you win the playoffs. And you don't have to play all three games. But I could be wrong about that. If we have to play all three games, then we will have free streams this week. Anyhow batting order. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I do like I do like this batting order. It's very good. Part of me is debating should I put Tony as the new catcher? I wouldn't have put Kenny in the outfield, but Tony's literally done nothing and I think Tony would have a better arm than Kenny, so he might be able to like throw it the second easier. Nah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's <laughs> That's how it's going to be. <laughs> Uh, Mello says, you don't have to play a third game if the same team wins the first two. All right, good to know. <laughs> we already know that Tony is a Jedi. Tony being a Jedi might be what the emote is all about. Just saying. I'm not, I'm not saying it's guaranteed that, but there's a pretty good chance that that's what it's going to be. Anyhow, let's play. The excitement level is high here at the BBL home field as the players prepare for their first all City BBL Playoffs game. I'm Sunny Day, and joining me is my pal, Vinny the Gooch. Together, we'll bring you every bit of the action. What she means is, she's never gonna stop yapping. It's my job, Vinny. Going head to head in today's game are the humongous monsters and the junior all-stars. Every player out there has their eye on that All City BBL title, and it's gonna be a tough fight for the pennant. Alrighty then, it's time for some baseball! Let's show the All-Stars what their fans are made of! Okay, even though it's the playoffs, we're still at the stupid Parks Department field. Whatever, I don't even know why I'm surprised at this point. This is for the pennant. Let's go. The starting pitcher today All right, we're, is we're pitching Lisa first. Crockett. This kid is dynamite! Her all-time strikeout high is 18. Here goes nothing. Fernando Diaz steps up to bat. All right. Oh, boy. Fernando. It's been a while. Well, if you think you can stand up against the might of Lisa Crockett, you've got another thing coming. Strike one. Hard left. The All-National Backyard Baseball League Championship games are in a different arena. I, I seem to remember that. But if, since we're still in the same league, it's at the Parks Department field. I gotta say, that... Nobody else. Being able to choose a home field and play on different fields is one of the big reasons why I would want to get 2001. Not even for the pro players. I probably wouldn't even pick the pro players. Oh, no. Lisa actually missed. It's okay. Jorge was on his game. All right, Veronica. Let's see if you can do a little bit better than Fernando. But I wouldn't count on it. Oh, dang. That was impressive. Right to Pete Wheeler, though. Pete. Nice job, Pete! Pete, I've got to say, Pete Wheeler has been one of my best players by far. And kind of the way I'm thinking for Season 2 is I'm going to have... 
I want to have like four players that return from this season and maybe four or five new players. All right, Tony, I'll, I'll start. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Two out. He's ready. And the pitch. Another strike. You're on the heat. All right, let's heat him out, eh, Vinny? Let's do it. It's always a ball. I feel like it's a chance of being a ball. Okay, I'm not sure who caught it there, but good on you, team. It was either Pablo or Lisa. Looks like Lisa, like, reached up for it, fumbled, but then Halfway. one of them caught You're it in the end. Now. Sweet. All right, we've got our <laughs> strong lineup next. Pete, Kenny, and Pablo. Hopefully Pete and Kenny get on base, and Pablo Pauline takes Brinker. them home. She pitches better against kids who speak French and write poetry verses. And rumor has it, she's not a big fan of Brussels sprouts. Really? That's weird. My parents told me all kids like Brussels sprouts. Oh, man, are you a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry. Pete Wheeler definitely does not read poetry. I don't think he has the IQ for it, so he should be able to be, do pretty well. I'm gonna hit a touchdown. You're gonna hit a grounder, actually, Pete. Yes, it will touch the ground. <laughs> okay, that's right to the that's right to the third baseman. Thanks for the host, Sonic. Enjoy your dancing penguin. <laughs> we are officially at the playoffs. Here I go. Darn it! <sighs> Sometimes Pete just can't pull it off. That's fine. Into the motion, cut to the plate. Low ball one. I'm doing very well today, Sonic. How are you doing? I'm actually going You know what? Now that I know how to bat properly, I'm actually gonna try a power with Kenny. Oh wait. Swing, strike one. Swung early. That was my bad. Got trigger happy with the positioning. I should have stayed open. From the wind up, the one one pitch. Okay, that's a blooper in foul territory. not gonna get caught by anybody. Oh, my family had backyard baseball for the Game Boy Advance, and it was terrible. No <laughs> She is ready. The one two pitch. Okay, that was a pop fly. I was hoping he would aim for the fences. That's okay, Kenny. You, you tried your best. Pablo Sanchez stepped in. I heard, yeah, Sonic, I heard that you hit uh, Twitch affiliate last night. That's awesome. Good for you. Affiliate is a big mi milestone, and it's very exciting. Darn it, Pablo. Don't catch that. Don't catch that. Please don't. They're not going to catch that. Okay. The wheel fell off. I assume that's what you were talking about when you were saying, Did you hear the news? A lot has been happening in the news, but that was what came to mind. Take the stretch and the pitch. Another strike. Not even close. I'm pretty sure the bat phased through the ball, but. From the wind up and the throw. I also heard the sad news about Alex Trebek, yes. It. it we lost a great man. He was awesome. Darn it. <sighs> okay, well, I'm not doing too well today. <laughs> and that'll do it in the first inning. All right, Frankie, Karen, Nancy. I'm not, I'm not worried about these punks. Lisa, you've been doing absolutely amazing as a pitcher, but you've gotten a shockingly low amount of strikeouts lately. You were striking people out left and right at the start. And the offering. Another strike. Nice job. All right, maybe we'll actually get that strikeout. Nice job, Lisa. Good. She's got this. It would have been a strikeout anyways for Pablo. Yeah, I know. I just... It's a shame. All right, we got a zigzag. Not bad, but not terrible. Swung on. A blooper in foul territory. Are they hitting open or square? I can't tell. They're not closed. Strike two. Nice one. That's what I like to see. Oh and two. Let's heat him up. And the offering. A bouncing ball. Also, speaking of heat, despite it being November and I'm in Michigan, which is normally really cold. 
it was like 70 degrees the last three days. It, it was crazy. I was actually like outside in shorts going for walks. It was fantastic. It, it still gets pitch black at like 5.30, which is a bit of a shame, but I'm very happy to have rolling weather. You're in Pennsylvania, Prince Dusk? Yeah. I'm not, I, I am never one to complain about hot weather, because I would take it over Michigan winter any day. Mello's been digging up the stats on these kids, and it seems a number of them are better than average. Well, they made it to the playoffs, so they probably would be better than average. Alright! Keisha's up next. Digging in and determined every time. Alright, Keisha, we're gonna aim for the fence as we always do. Ready now, the delivery, the swing. Okay, the that was a pretty solid hit. Yeah. Not a home run, but that's definitely a good single. Thanks. Nice job, Keisha! And she's got enough speed that she can potentially get home. Here come Jorge Your parents wanna move to Texas? I wanna move to Texas too. Not right now, but in a couple of years. I know they say that it's super hot in Texas in the summer. Again, I would love a hot summer over a really cold winter. I'm not swimming. Low and inside. Runner on first with nobody out. Takes the stretch and the pitch. Strike one. One and one. Jorge, I think we need to get you a bat that doesn't bend when you uh, swing. The swing, strike too two. late or too early. Keep it together. He's got one more shot. One and two. Honestly, if Jorge struck out, that would not be the worst thing in the world. Here's the motion. The one, two, pitch. Oh! Is that a, that's not a home run, no. Keisha, go back. Darn it, that was close to being a home run, though. You tried, Jorge. That was good. You'd rather have a cold winter because of hot cocoa. That's fair. And people make the, the argument that when it's when it's cold out, you can always put on more layers, but when it's hot, there's only so many layers you can take off. I disagree, because when it gets cold enough, especially with wind, it doesn't matter how many layers you have on, you're going to be cold. Like, when you get that, like, winter, damp, cold, that just, like, pierces right through your clothes. Oh, wow. Is that a home run? That's a home run. Nice job, Dimitri! <laughs> Dimitri's gotten actually a shocking amount of home runs. I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Nice job, Dimitri. Holy cow. 415. Not bad for somebody who's apparently a free at batting. My batting average is zero, is zero again. Stats reset in the postseason to keep them distinct from regular season stats. That's really cool. So Dimitri now has his 1.0 batting average back. <laughs> One for the math nerds. Okay, <laughs> nerds unite. All right, Tony. Master Tony is up to bat. Take their stretch and the throw. Oh, was that a home? No, that's foul. Going up the right field line. We what? <laughs> they said it was foul, but they didn't count it as foul. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Tony used the force to put it back in fair. <laughs> 400 feet. Nice job, Tony. <laughs> that seemed like a bit of a glitch, but I'll take it. I've had so many glitches that were against me. I'll take one that's four in my favor. It's on the line. It's fair. Yeah, but, but they said, and it goes foul. And then it was playing the home run music. <laughs> nice job, Tony. Oh, man. All right, Jacinda. If you get a home run too, that'll be crazy. I'm not expecting it though. She kicked, throws it, swung on, and popped up. That yeah, that's the it's the typical Jacinda pop fly. That's okay, Jacinda. We didn't need it. All right, Lisa. <laughs> Should I go power for Lisa just for kicks? Give me something I can hit. She yeah yeah I'm gonna go power because why the heck not. If she gets out, that's fine, because next inning will start with Pete Wheeler. The wing. It. Two out. There's no foul pull, and the line doesn't extend past the fence, so all they could do is 
to, is determined that it was fair. Oh. Really? Account? Yeah. I was more confused why they Sunny Day had said, and it goes foul, but then it was playing the home run music. And the offering. Now that was a powerful hit. Yeah, I knew that would happen. I'm actually totally fine with that because that means we're back to our the our good part of our lineup with zero outs next inning. All stars are leaving them in the dust. All right, Colleen Horace and Jim Kiley. Oh yeah, that's why Lisa Crockett. Yeah, her stats were back to zero. I did notice that. A bouncing ball. All right, Lisa, just grab that, Chuck toss it over to our friend Lee. Dimitri. Boom. All right, Horace. Let's see. I gotta say, Horace, you're rocking the pink. It looks pretty good on you. That is, that is a shade of pink. There's no way I could. Actually, I can't pull off any shade of pink. I dress primarily in black t-shirts. <laughs> and when I'm when I'm going to a really fancy party, I put on a polo shirt. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't get invited to fancy parties, so good. I don't have to dress up. <laughs> Bye, Horace. <laughs> Nothing personal, Horace. I just want to get Lisa's strikeout count up for this part of the postseason. I want her to be number one. You wore a polo shirt to a wedding? That sounds like a good one. Actually, I think I've worn a polo shirt. No, it wasn't a polo shirt. It was like a collar shirt. But I went, I've been to a wedding that was pretty casual, all things considered. And then I, of course, I've also worn uh, tuxedos when I was in my brother's wedding parties. And you thought Pablo was bad at fielding? <laughs> okay, well, I mean, Pablo makes so many fumbles. Oh man, Lisa. Is, okay, Lisa's on the strikeouts now. Horace and Fernando, both on the monsters, are tied for the most errors in the league at six. Oh. <laughs> I feel like uh, Pablo's made six errors in game? one game. Maybe what an error is. Maybe an error is not the way. same as what I'm thinking. Okay. Ground ball up the first baseline. That no. Pete. Ah. Uh, I need to stop All hitting it towards first base. I think that's the problem. Kenny Chair gets in the way when he's bad. So he swing back and have a lot of power. Here I go. All right. Pa power last time was a mistake. We're going line drive. Kenny does well with line drive. And the offering. I'm not swinging. Are you trying to hit the kid in the wheelchair with the ball? What is wrong with you? Here's the motion, the delivery. Okay, that was not a line drive, but you know, that might work out. No, they're gonna catch it. Nice try, Kenny. Good effort, good effort. Try your hardest. Pablo Sanchez steps in. Pablo fumbled. The baseball universe is different than the football universe. I don't know. He he always when Pablo fields, if it's a pop fly, he will always drop it. From the wind up, the pitch. Da. A bouncing ball. That was a slow. Oh, he's gonna get on first. Nice job, Pablo. Nice single. Nice single. Perhaps Keisha Phillips can take us home. Keisha Phillips. All right, Keisha. Let's smack the ball into the stratosphere. Into the windup and delivered. Swung on. Oh. A bouncing ball. The stratosphere is in the air, Keisha. It's not on the ground. I mean, nice single. But now Jorge is up next, and I don't, I don't think we're gonna make it past him in this inning. Here comes Jorge Garcia. But stranger things have happened. Watch that outfield cringe as I step up to the plate. Well, you know what? Hitting power has always resulted in the most pathetic pop fly ever, so let's do it again. Because I'm insane. She's set. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Ground ball That's about right. Well, line. it was a nice inning. Well, or they could... Nope, they're just baiting me. <laughs> wow, they trolled me so bad. 
<laughs> wow, they purposefully took their time picking it up and walked really slowly to first base just to make Jorge Hewitt feel bad. All right, look at all these power-ups. <laughs> Bad power-ups. Man, everybody's hitting the <laughs> po power grounder. Goodbye. Not, no, so, thus far, they have not been able to touch first base. This is looking like a perfect game. Nice job, Elisa! Holy cow! Let's play ball. All right. Winston, eh? We can get Winston out. Like I've, like I've said many times before, our fielding has been pretty impeccable. And Lisa. Nope, Lisa actually does not have that. Lisa. Um, Jorge. Dimitri, why did you move off of the base? Jorge, why are you tripping yourself? Wow, that was like eight fielding errors in a single play. Lisa dropped it like three times. Jorge like tripped two, twice. And Dimitri literally moved off of the base, even though if he had stayed, we would have gotten them out. Oh, Fernando is number one with nine errors. Well, so much for the uh, perf pitching a perfect game, but that's okay. They're not getting home. Another strike. I'm going to use the juice so that way Lisa will be faster for this. Oh wait, there are two innings after this, not one. Whoops. That's okay. Lisa's going to be up to bat pretty soon this inning and I want her to be at her fastest. Don't have Angela on the team if we keep Tony. Yes. They get a stat penalty if they're on the same team. But, well, I, that doesn't affect this game, but if they go against each other on opposite teams, they both get stat I've boosts. The optimum swing based on current atmosphere Granted, in this version of the game, they can't have the normal kids on the season play teams, but they can in the future versions. Into the motion and the pitch. The swing. Okay, man, these powers have been very disappointing. All right, N nice effort, Dimitri. When I use power, though, I kind of want it to go to the outfield. All right, Tony. Tony went from having one of the lowest batting averages to having a 1.0. Takes the stretch and the throw. The wing. one back. I probably should have just let that go. I like having the pitch be on the right side of the strike zone for Tony. Just like that. Not sure how that angle makes sense, but okay. <laughs> Why not? That's a foul. Nice effort, Tony. Nice effort. Aw, and I just realized Tony lost his super speed from last game. Eh, don't worry about it. Into the wind up. Cuts to the plate. The wing. A bouncing ball. Tony that Ivor smacks it out of the park, morning. or he hits a grounder like that and gets out. Ooh, that's not what we're that's okay. For. That's okay, Tony. All right, Jacinda. No doubt about that. It's time for a home run. I would not say no to a home run, Jacinda, but we're three points up, so we don't need it. Ready now and delivered. Bud, we're gonna get it. No, we're not. That's darn it. That's just barely not a home run. Okay, okay. Flathead has a cannon. What's Jocinda's head shape? It, it's shaped like a raindrop. Oh, don't worry, guys. We got our girl Lisa up next. She'll she'll definitely help Jocinda get the second. All right. Well. No power for us. We're going to hit a line drive. From the wind up, the pitch. A swing. Dang! Lisa! Don't catch that. Oh, thank... Wow. Go to second. Go to third. No, no, no. No, no, no. Go back. Go back. Go back. She got to that ball faster than I was expecting. If she had a more powerful arm, we would be dead. All right, Pete Wheeler for home run time. Pete, you have failed getting to first both times with the grounders, but this time, uh, what am it's I power time, to do Woody. Again? 
makes her stretch and delivers. The wing. It's been a long time since the Pete Wheeler home run. That's not going to be a home run. Darn it. That's out. And that's an out. Ah, that's a shame. Good effort, Pete. And this I like your enthusiasm. On, hit the, the touchdown. Winning up I wish three. I hit the touchdown. The All-Stars are shooting high tonight. Remember that two-handed batter? Karen yes, Donato we remember that. We remember that very turn. well. The, the Gooch. Oh, we got a fireball Wings. now. Strike one. Flip, slide, and right hook. Flip, slide, and right hook. What a beauty. The target goes up. She delivered. I really do wish that they had recorded more dialogue for Vinny to say after you throw a specific pitch. Great idea to throw the off speed. With me, takes her stretch and the pitch. Dimitri, please, your chatter's not helping. Actually, I am honestly amazed I have not gotten to the point where I've had to turn off the in-game chatter. If we end up getting Dante Robinson in a future season, though, I will probably have to. Because boy, howdy, does he love talking. <laughs> yeah, one of the things that I'm planning is if I can get enough people interested, I might have, like, people vote on which characters I have for the next season. Like, I, I'm thinking four or five people re will return from this season, and then we'll get four or five new players. And I feel like maybe maybe, maybe not every character will be selected by voting. Like, I would want to at least pick two returning players and two new characters for myself. But if people are interested, we, I would be so down to have a vote in that. If I let the audience completely control what team I get, though, that could be, I could end up with a very bad team. <laughs> so, Alright, you're going to pick Kimmy Ekman, Gretchen Hasselhoff, Ricky Johnson, Reese Worthington. Oh, no. I don't think I can win with that team. Dante is fast, and he's a decent fielder, but that's about it. He's, he's basically Pete Wheeler, but a lot worse. From the windup, Rose. That's working. All right, we, wow. Lisa has pitched 41 consecutive pitches and has gotten Halfway seven or eight strikeouts now, at this point. On, all right, Kenny Pablo Kisha. The All Stars This will be our last hitting at bat. Kenny, the fast base wheel. I feel like my batting averages for my characters have reversed for the post game. Pete and Jocinda both have like zero. The pitch. All of the pay, play, all of my players who had the higher batting averages now have like zero, and the people who had really low batting averages now have like pretty decent ones. Here's the motion and the offering. I'm not swinging. That was ball one, one and one. Nope. I honestly fully expected that to be called as a strike, but there was even if I was hitting open, I wouldn't have been able to get a hit off of it. One one pitch. Swinging. Should hit it square. It's going up the right field line, and it goes foul. It's okay, Kenny. We still Nobody got another else. chance. Swing batter, batter. Into the motion, batter, throws it. Swung on. That's Darn it, foul. man, Kenny. I know he's in a wheelchair, so it's hard for him to hit, but he fouls a lot. Here's the motion, the one-two pitch, the swing, pop fly. Well, that's an out. No, it's not, because they pulled a Pablo and dropped it. <laughs> oh, sweet. Kenny, you're on first. That's awesome. That I got to see that kid get hit in the face Pablo again. <laughs> All right, Pablo. All right, Pablo. Let's get a home run for Twitch chat. From the windup, she delivers. The swing. That's not a home run for Twitch chat. Ground ball. But that's a single. Baseline. That was a slow roller. <laughs> Make it. Some Make some second. days life hits you hard and you fall on your butt. I I feel you, man. Keisha Phillips, turn it back. You just found out that a coworker has never watched Major Pain, Sonic. Guess what? Who has two thumbs and also hasn't seen it? This guy. She kicked, rolled it. Dang, oh, wow. Keisha, that's right to him. And the runner tag. And the runner tag. Take the second. 
That's okay, Keisha. Here comes Jorge Garcia. At least it wasn't a double play. Watch that outfield cringe as I step up to the plate. Awesome music. Okie dokie, Jorge. You get, you're the zero for two, the but throw. that could change. That could change! Oh. Every time he smashes the ball, it really... Darn it, that's an out. Every time Jorge, like, smacks the ball, it looks like he's gonna get a home run, but then it, like, barely reaches the outfield. Oh, well. <laughs> we got three points in the second inning. I, you know what? I can't complain with that. I really can't. I mean, there is a chance that they could get three points in this inning, but it's not likely going to happen. Yeah, in later games, double play means batting power-up, which I think is a good... I, I think that's a good addition because it's really hard to get the batting power-ups in this. You have to... You literally have to get have... You have to have one of your batters get a strikeout. And I don't mean they strike another player out. Like, they literally strike out at bat. So the computer player gets a special pitch, and then you have to get a successfully hit the special pitch, and then get on base after hitting it. It's a lot of moving parts, and rare, rarely happens. Dimitri, you stay on first base. This guy's slow. Boom. Jorge didn't want to lift it. A single foot to help out. No way. We can just let Lisa do it. She loves doing everything on her own. All right, Jim Kiley. Oh, he—he he was the guy who fell on his butt. I'm sorry about that, man. That happens. You're gonna bunt. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. <laughs> Honestly, bunting in this game in general is not a very good idea. Even Pete, I felt like, only got on base half the time when he bunted. Grounders, I feel like, are better. Now give us another one, baby. No, forget that. I'm I'm throwing a fireball. Into the Another strike. Two out. And let's finish him off with a corkscrew. Goodbye, Fernando Diaz. Okay, well, he can get a hit on that. Sure. All right, fine. We'll do low, left hook, lone inside. Nice strikeout, Lisa. That's a one-way ticket back to the dugout. Goodbye, Fernando. Oh, but he goes out with a smile on his face. What? What a good sport. The All Stars obliterated him. Three to zero is not an obliteration. Everybody's so happy out there. Now it's time for the post-game victory tour around town, where the players hang their heads out of their parents' cars, cheering and singing. Straight from the Parks Department field number two, this is Sunny Day and Vinny the Gooch, signing off. My headcanon is that the reason Vinny the Gooch is only the color commentator in Backyard Baseball is that ba the Baseball League is the only league that where they serve corn dogs. He, need he needs his corn dog in order to get him through a game. Oh yeah, that's right, because the playoffs, we don't actually get to see what other teams won or lost, because there are no other teams! We alone proved our worth. <laughs> Alright, 3-0, to zero, we beat the Monsters, not really a surprise. And, looks like we'll be rematching them again on Wednesday, 8pm Eastern Standard Time as usual. If we win that game, then we'll be ready for the Grand Championship next week. If we lose, then we will have a Friday stream at, again, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we will take on um, the second, uh, the final round of the playoffs. But I'm, I'm pretty confident that we're gonna, I think we're gonna whoop them. Maybe not by a lot, because we haven't ever, we've, it's always been a pretty low-scoring game against the Monsters, but, you know, I, I, I'm confident. Anyhow. Thanks for joining in, everybody. Again, reminder, Discord link is in my About page. Join in if you want to, but don't feel pressured either way. It's a pretty chill place to hang out if you want. And look forward to more playoff shenanigans on Wednesday. I hope you all have a great rest of your night, and I hope that God blesses you wherever you are. Peace out.